afternoon. Thank you all here for uh, who are still here and uh, come to this last session. And I sure hope it's a hell of a happy hour, 90 minutes from now, because you guys are sticking around and burned it. Um, I saw that, and I know it was announced here. Uh, Eno, did I pronounce that correctly, or did I not? You know, I did not pronounce that correctly. Now I know it. Uh, that is so emblematic of what is going on in this state and in this region. Um, the growth, this is the, we are in the second inning, to use the baseball analogy, a second inning of the evolution of the uh, entrepreneurial ecosystem in Tampa Bay and in Florida. I'm just going to talk Tampa Bay. It's applicable to the state given there's a lot of stuff going on in Miami, also in Orlando. The fact that we now have a twice a week publication to keep up to date on news that's happening around here, around startup activity, about new companies, et cetera, that, it, that's a big deal. It's a big deal for me. I read it today, and I, or I guess it was yesterday, and I learned so much just in one day about some of the things going on. One of the, one of the, one of the things that we're actually weak on here is communication where there's a lot of entrepreneurial activity in this area. There's a lot of venture being funded. There is a lot of startup talent. There are a lot of people, but we don't publicize it. In fact, we ourselves don't even know about it. So this is an important step in uh, our knowing about this locally and getting the word out. Speaking of getting the word out, if you want to measure the growth of the ecosystem here, the opportunities that exist here, let's compare attendance this year to last year. And then we're going to pair, I, I, at lunch today, I challenged Mark Blumenthal and, um, and um, uh, Brian. Uh, we've got 5,000 people plus this year, 10,000 people in three years. That's what we have to accomplish. And if uh, lunch wasn't good, I would have said in two years. Um, the growth here, we are right at that stage of the growth. We have founders, we have capital. We have to educate. That's part of what Inno does. We have to educate because a lot of people who have made money in in in, um, in their businesses, in real estate, etc., aren't used to venture capital, but are used to funding and investing. They need to be educated about the process. The fact that we have 5,000 plus people attending this, we're all evangelists. I used that word at once. We're all evangelists to get the word out, to spread the word. We live in a great place. There is plenty of opportunity here. And it's just going to grow more and more over time as more capital is here, as more, as more companies are here, and as we publicize that more. Um, I was at a high school a couple of years ago, last year at the end of the year, and I said, I was talking to about 20, 30 uh, boys who are seniors that are graduating, and I said, you know how we'll know when we're becoming successful in, in, in this startup world? That is when, if I can look at you guys 10 years from now, if 80% of you, 90% are still living here, we have now created an environment to keep young people here, to keep all this talent here, to attract talent. That's the mission we are all on. You're going to see it uh, as, as people come up. You've seen it for two days. Think about the amount of the amount of stuff that's going on is just incredible, and we're so proud in Emily Arena to showcase that. And oh, I'm supposed to be I'm sorry, supposed to be in front of the synapse. I forgot. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> uh, they warned me, don't stand behind the podium. Uh, but you've seen that for two days, and I can't wait about the future. We are very proud. Watch me from away, who's the CEO of the Bar Collective. I'm very proud that we're, we're, we're a part of this, and Watch me is a part of this. Synapse and what they've done, Florida Funders, or we can go on Night Foundation in Miami, all part of this. We're all on the same mission to uh, take this, this, you know, I said at lunch, We've been a C in terms of our startup scene. We're now a B minus. How do we get to a B plus in three or four or five years? That's the mission we're all on together. It's a great place to be. There's no reason that we can't accomplish that. We have all the resources here. We have the people here. We're going to bring the town here. If we look at, and you all know this, if you look at the top cities, and the top secondary cities around the country, everybody's doing this. Startup activity is no longer combined to Silicon Valley and Seattle and New York and just a couple of places. It's growing in a lot of different areas. And I maintain that Tampa, Florida, Tampa Bay, Florida can compete just as well with Cincinnati and Minneapolis and St. Louis and other cities, boy, I spent a lot with the light on me, and other cities that are also doing what we're doing. So 
I'm just leaving off this session. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for being part of this. Please be our evangelists. Broadcast the message out. That's what we all need to do because this is a movement. We all must be part of this movement if we're going to go from being that B minus where we are to a B plus in a few years. Thank you all. Hope you've had a great uh, two days here. Enjoy. Happy hours.